So I wanted to record a quick video to walk you through an NLP technique that helps you resolve inner conflict. It's called parts integration. And basically what this technique does is if you have a part of you that wants one thing and a part of you that wants another different thing, then we can make these two different parts of you, these two different parts of you that feel like they're in conflict, like one wants to do something, the other wants to do the other, and they're just like playing an internal tug of war. We can actually get those two fragmented parts of you to come together and realize that they are actually part of a whole to realize they are actually they both actually want the same thing so this is a really really great technique now the way that most people teach this is they do it with the hands and this is how i've traditionally taught it in the created coach method where we get there, our clients parts to come out on the hand and the hands slowly come together you can kind of see that in the screen the hands will slowly come together there first they're out like whoops in right in front and then they slowly come together and then we get eventually get them to come up into the hole. Now, the way that I'm gonna teach you how to do this is just by using words. You're just gonna use words, you're not gonna use your hands. And I actually like this way better. This is the way that I teach it now. It's technically a, an NLP master trained technique, but I teach it to everyone because I love this technique. And I'm actually gonna teach it to you so you can do this for yourself. The very first time that I ever experienced this technique, I mean, I've seen some really powerful stuff with parts integration, like stuff that even makes me emotional now thinking about it. The first time that I ever experienced linguistic parts integration, I couldn't believe that these two parts of me were in conflict because they both wanted exactly the same things. So like I said, parts integration is good when you have two separate parts of you. One part of you wants one thing, one part of you wants to eat chocolate and the other part doesn't want to eat chocolate. We can get those two parts that seem like they're fighting against each other and maybe even preventing you from moving forward to get to what you want, whatever your goal is. We can get those two parts to see that they actually don't need to fight. They don't need to be in conflict with each other. They can work together. So I shared this technique um, almost like a year and a half ago um, with my email list and I'm doing it again now because I got some really, really good feedback and I wanna run everyone through it again. So what you're gonna do is first you need a piece of paper, oops, a little bit shiny there, a piece of paper, something to write notes onto. You need to be able to write things down and you need to make a column like this, two columns. I'm gonna try and not get the lights reflecting in there for you. Two columns, just like this. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna speak to your unconscious mind. So maybe you need to just meditate for a moment, be in a quiet space, just like give yourself some time to be away from your computer, your phone, and you're just gonna say, okay, the part of me that wants to eat chocolate, What's that part's name? And give it a name, whatever it is. If the name is Cube, if the name is Jessica, if the name is Red, whatever comes up for you, that's fine. And you're gonna write that down in one column, the part of you that wants to do something. And then in the other column, the part of you that doesn't want to do things, you're gonna give that a name. What's that part's name? Cube, Jessica, the Grim Reaper, whatever it is, Blob, whatever the name is, it doesn't matter. And if you want, you can even give them some form. You can write down a little note about what they look like, or you can just pay attention to what they look like. Just take note of what they look like, if they have any sounds, what color they are, if they're moving, if they're still. Just, just notice those things. They're not, you don't need to focus on that part too much, but it's helpful for the technique if you can really um, specify some details that separate these two parts or maybe you'll find that actually they look very similar it could be anything 
So then what you're gonna do, and I actually have notes here as well for you. So I'm gonna go through the notes as they are, and I'm gonna share these with you as well. I'll give you a link so that you can read through it after the fact, you don't have to remember all of this. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do, you've identified the parts, you've given them each a name, a little bit of visual, so what they look like, maybe if they sound like something, if they have any feelings, whatever that is. And you've got the names of each one, in the two different columns, right? So part one, you'll actually have a name there and part two, you'll have a name there. And then what you're gonna do is for part one, you're gonna say, okay, for part one, the part of me that wants to eat chocolate, what's the highest intention of the part of me that wants to eat chocolate? What's its highest intention? And you might get a word like happy. So then you're gonna write down to be happy or whatever you get back from the part when you ask the part. We're talking to the part here, not you, you're talking to it. You're talking to a subconscious part of you that you have kind of personified, that you've given a voice. Then once you, you're going through this list, you said, okay, what's your highest intention? To be happy, okay. Happy for what purpose? To be loved. Loved for what purpose? To feel good. And you're gonna write down every single response you get. To feel good. What will feeling good do for you? It will make me happy. And you'll get repeated words sometimes, but basically you wanna go through until you notice that you're getting kind of deep. If, if you start getting things like world peace and things that aren't personal, then you need to rein it back in and say, okay, world peace, what will that do for you? And you need to keep it really personal, but you're just going to go through the list and spend a few minutes going through this part and asking it what's its purpose, what's its intention, what will that do for you, what will that do for me? Because you're speaking to it as though it's doing something in service of you and you're just going to go through. And then you're gonna to go to the other part and you're gonna say, okay, um, to the part of me that wants cho doesn't want to eat chocolate, its name is Jessica. What's Jessica's highest intention? To be loved, love for what purpose? To feel good. And you're just gonna go through again and get many responses until you kind of feel like you've gotten deep. Usually what will happen here is you'll, for me, it's intuitive. It, it's almost like a, a Ah, okay, I think we've got it here. And then you're gonna have, by the end, just let me do some squiggles. You're gonna have like lots of words on your list, just like this. You're gonna have all these words, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover up one of the columns and you're kind of gonna cross it over. Let me see if I can draw an arrow here that explains it. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna say, okay, part one, that's the part of me that wants to eat chocolate. You're gonna read out, this is hard to do. You're gonna read out the things from the opposite column as though they are actually the responses from part one. So you're gonna go, okay, part one wants these things that I've actually written down there. And then you're gonna switch it over again and you're gonna do part two, but you're gonna read from part one's column. And what you're actually gonna notice here is that you, you won't be able to tell the difference between which column is which because they're gonna have the same intentions. They're gonna have the same purpose. Both of these parts that are in conflict actually have the same intention. They want the same good things for you. And so the point of this is to show each part that, to show you that, to show your subconscious mind that it doesn't need to have this internal conflict, that they can actually work together, that they can actually be part of the whole. So that's about where I've gotten in the notes. I'll add a little bit more here about what you can do to help integrate these two parts. You can say to yourself, okay, I now see that these two parts want the same thing. They want the same intention, the same good, the same purpose for me. They don't have to be separate anymore. They can come together and be a part of the whole. If you want, you can kind of visualize each part and you can maybe cup them in your hand if you want and then bring them up to your heart. You can do whatever you feel you need to do to 
integrate these two parts that have now become one. They're not separate anymore. They're together. And that's it. It, it can take 10 minutes, 12 minutes usually. It's fairly quick. You don't have to go slow. You can get this done really quickly. Um, and you're going to see amazing results. I love this technique. I love teaching this technique. I love using this, this technique with my clients. If you have any questions about what I've gone over, if you need me to dive a little bit deeper or explain something that maybe you haven't understood properly or you want me to clarify, just let me know. You can send me an email. You can send me a DM on Instagram, whatever you need. Um, I want to help you be able to use this technique. And if you use it, when you use it and you get amazing results, definitely send me an email or a message on Instagram so I can know, so that we can talk about it, so that I can hear what it was like for you. Because I I love NLP. I love NLP. I love when I can teach this and share this with people and they use it and see how powerful, powerful it is, get to experience it in their lives. As you can tell, I'm like messing up my speech because I'm so excited. So uh, I'm really grateful that I sh could share this with you um, and let me know if you have any questions and let me know when you do it. Bye.